Okay. Hello there, the Scott Lynch kid. Just giving a few routine tips for daily better routine. So you can see how it's done. Like I said, do things a little bit differently. Just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Uh, did you have a few questions on some of my other videos? Somebody asked me about how long it takes. Well, it takes me roughly about a half hour to 40 minutes, depending on the day, how things work out. Some days I have to drop these, I'm dropping everything. Those days it takes me a little bit longer. But hopefully this is how it normally works. I start off with shaving, and whenever I shave, obviously the mirror right there is a little bit too high of reach up. You can see that one on the wall there. So as I did typically, I grab a hate up beer, I use that, and I do have a like razor, like you go ahead and do all the shaving with and all that. And just to make it a little bit easier on me, I've also got a broad razor, and I actually have a cleaner, or like cleans the razor automatically. And it says right down there, all I have to do is buy a, a cleaning kit for it, I dry clean it. Well, they say to clean it every day and put on the charger every single day. But truthfully, I only clean by whenever I have to charge it. Right now, the charger in this razor will last me probably uh, four or five days. Now, when I first got this razor about two years ago, it would last me for two or three weeks. But obviously, now it's been used quite a bit. But I have to write, um, charge the razor. Probably, like I said, about five, six days. Depends on how much I actually use it. Now that. Now one little thing while I learned with the beers. With the beers, I can go off and I can get a fancy beer. But truthfully, I found out if I go off and buy just a little simple hate up beer at the drugstore or at the dollar store, one, where they say it be. You know, easy, cheap ones are great because if I drop this on the ground, Normally it will survive being dropped a few times, which these beers normally are. If I get one of the fancy beers, they're a little bit heavier. I drop that once, and I'll often will shatter it the very first time I drop it. Well, like I said, I've got there several beers, so I wait a few to save it. Whenever I'm done with the beer, go ahead and put it up. And I put it in a bucket here that has a lot of towels in there. So I really don't have to worry about it falling down and breaking. With the razor, I normally just put it up on the counter and I get rid of it. That way it's ready for what I've ever done. Went out with the razor so I can get ahead of myself. Normally I set this razor right down here. on this bottom level right by the mirror as well. That way it keeps both of those things out of the way. Then when it comes time to brush my teeth, Grab this bucket, I'll put it in my lap here. I'm going to just lay a scoop back here where my toothbrush is. And I'm going to reposition myself in the chair where I can easily lean over this bucket for whenever I have to spit or whatever when I brush my teeth. And obviously, brush my teeth is not too hard. Like most of us, I've gone ahead and I've got the electric toothbrush. This is not one of the fancy ones. This is probably a, I think it's like a ten dollar toothbrush at most from Walmart. Cause simply the heads off get worn out. My do about probably your bucks about one a month or so on here. Anyways, go ahead and brush my teeth with these spit that I have in there. I go ahead and I set this toothbrush while it's still running. By the way, I'm normally just dropping in the sink there. Go ahead and turn on the hot water. Grab some, wash my face off. And then I grab that toothbrush, put it in my lap while it's still on it, and I take the whole bucket, and I put it here in the sink, and I go ahead and let that fill with water. That way it sort of rinses it out. And while that's happening, I don't like go through, and I floss my teeth, this hang out flosser. Works out fairly well, but the only thing I do have it, the birds that gets me aid to help, gets me up to point, gets everything ready for me, but the toothpaste on the toothbrush, and also the flosser head on the flosser. I can go and floss my teeth, and these little heads are fairly easy to pop off. 
and all that for me to do. So I normally take this off. You know, the head is off the deer bitch. When I'm really done, I drop that in the bucket for the water here. And I can normally just toss the little head right behind me in the garbage. But simply because this is a demo, I don't need to throw that away just yet, but apparently I have because I've dropped it. And then normally, next thing you have on this, go ahead and get a mouthful of mouthwash. When I get finished with it, I'm, or this one here, I'll go ahead and a little bit more detail. This is just a bottle of Listerine. Cheap way to get the syrup, but the only thing I've done to modify it, I cut off the chopper taz on it. And the reason I did that is simply to make it a little bit easier for me to unscrew. And I'll really take a swig of this. And I'm good, and I put the cap back on. And I believe it works out great. Like I said, there are a few days where I end up dropping the cap. It has a little bit of time I have to go find the cap and all that. Put that up here on the cutter. You cut off what? Do I? What did you cut off? The safety tabs. Oh, on the inside the of it? The safety tabs on the cap to where I can unscrew the cap. You put the child safety on there. Okay. You have to squeeze it together to pull off. I cut those off just to make it a little bit easier for me. The things I get to get mouthful mouthwash. Normally go ahead and that's the time. Go ahead and slap on some deodorant and all that. Once I've finished that, it, sit over here at the counter. Then I'm swirling around the mouthwash with my mouth. I can normally go ahead and dump whatever water is in the bucket out. Put that on my lap. And while the water is draining, that's why I go ahead and spit the mouthwash into the sink. One of the rest that's getting washed out. I'm not only take the towel I have in my lap, I'm drawing off the inside of the bucket. And then when that's all done, I'll scrape all this stuff and have it sitting here in the tub. And I'll put the tub back up on the gutter. I certainly after that, with the water so wet, I'll put this washcloth into the sink there. Just make sure it gets good wet. I do have it nearly a sure whenever I get ready. So I grab that shirt, grab it now, put it on, and then once I have the shirt on, come back over here, turn the water off, grab the washcloth that's in the sink, run it out, get some of the water out, and I go ahead and rub that on my head, because normally my hair is dry whenever I get in out of the tub. I'm getting ready in the morning, and that, my hair is normally dry. So I wipe it down, get it wet here with the washcloth, then after that, I normally just brought that towel on my head just once where it's damp and not wet. And then I can grab my hair gel. Go ahead and squirt some of that. My hands get ready to get. Like I said, every once in a while I'm dropping things for the right? There's nothing to do with that. But anyways, go ahead and wipe down the hair gel, get in my hands. And then wipe it on my head. And then I was like to brush my hair and all that. Drop the hairbrush again. Brush in the hair and all that. Get it mixed up just right. And then it's about it. And for that, make sure I put everything back to the top. Whenever I'm done with it, pick up anything that we dropped. Put it back in the tub. That way we never have to go anywhere in a hurry, especially. And if any of you have following me, I did have to go do a little trip up to my sister's over the weekend. And we left for that trip in quite a hurry. We just got that bucket and I was good to go from there. About the only thing I missed we did forgot to bring the mirror with us. But my older sister had a mirror that I could borrow. If there are any questions or anything, please let me know in my comments. I'll try to answer whatever I can whenever I get the chance. Um, if you do like this video, of course, always give me a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if possible. Other than that, uh, thank you, and hopefully I'll have another video for you later.